Hey everyone, how's it going? It is Kieran the Barber. Today we have a mid skin fade with a messy textured top. Before I start this video guys, do not forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Yeah, let's get this video started. So starting off with my Gamma Proteges. I literally got these sent from America. Um, they're really, really smooth. They're really good for outlining. They get really, really close to the skin, so they're good for skin fades before you start foiling and stuff like that. They remove bulk really well. So coming around from the eye level, taking it like a semicircle just then below the occipital bone, then what we're gonna do is remove the bulk and then we are gonna start with that blend. Guys, I really hope you enjoy this video. As I said again, do not forget to like, subscribe and comment. So guys, what I'm doing here is just to get rid of this line now, starting to blend in this skin fade, I open up no guard, so it's no guard completely open, and I just flick using a little C motion just to start that blending process. Then what I do is a slight little bit of trigger play. Trigger play is where you open and close the guard to make it open and closed, just so what that does is that'll take out that harsh line and it will stop that shadowing. And completely what I do is I'll just keep going over and over and over it until it starts to get out but yeah so it's complete open and closed play with set set certain guards just to start getting that line removed So now just finishing up on this fade, going round the edges with my JRLs, they're my sharpest trimmer, so I like to just make sure I go around the edge with them, giving out extra sharp lines, making it look nice and smooth. Onto the back, we come just below the occipital bone and we repeat exactly the same process. Just a quick one guys while you're here, how's your weekend, how's your week, I've missed you all, it's good to be back just doing my little bits i've missed making youtube videos and yeah i just thought i'd say love to you all thank you for everyone who's supporting me i really appreciate every single one of you
So starting off with the beard, I'll do a blend in. So I won't do the beard all one length. I'll take it down from a half guard, a guard, a no guard open, and then we'll work our way down between the, the mouth area is like a one and a half. And then we'll just blend that in and leave it a little bit thicker around the chin area just to make his chin stand out and give it a really defined beard, but also blend that into the hair, making it nice and sharp, my friends. Now just on to lining up that beard with my gold FX, just bringing it nice straight line, following the line from the top of the ear right down to the bottom, and then just taking the line just on the same level as the Adam's apple, just making that line nice and straight, defining his chin area ever so slightly, so bringing it from top, like just slightly above the ear, so we're gonna go triangular ever so slightly on an, on an angle, just because we don't want it to be dead straight, dead flat, because it would just make it look flat. So we're coming down on a slight angle to elongate his face, to really make his jaw look chiseled, make him look as beautiful as he possibly can be. And that's what we're doing right now, guys. So with Jordan's hair, we discussed in the consultation, he's quite open to wearing his hair in all different kind of styles. Um, sometimes he likes wearing it down, sometimes he likes wearing it up. He likes to be given the option of, of both, to be honest. So what I kind of done is I've gave a club cut it to start, taking off the length, taking off everything that I chipped into last time on the previous haircut. 
just making sure it's all level ready to be freshly cut and then we go afterwards we just chip into it what that does is I've created a style where we have the option to either wear it down and messy or we can wear it up and messy you can even transition it to a side part and stuff like that we've we've gave him enough length on top and enough blend on both sides to even it out where he has kind of creative control over his hair he can do what he wants pretty much depending on what products he uses, whether he uses a wax or a gel or even a powder um, a sea salt spray he can style it in many different ways and that's the best thing about Jordan's hair is kind of you can um, you can do what you want with it, it kind of goes in any direction it styles really really well um, so yeah it's, it's always good to have options it's always good to give him options um, and that's what we've done So after we wet the hair down, we stuck some styling products in there and unfortunately I didn't get the last little bit of styling, my camera turned off automatically. But here is the last finishing bits. What we did was we stuck some powder in there, we stuck a bit of hairspray, we, we um, transitioned it from kind of downwards, we played it, I dried it down and then actually styled it up. And that made the fringe really pop because where we where we dried it down first and pushed it up, it was kind of the hair was fighting against itself. Self. So what happened was we just it gave the fringe really really good um, texture. Guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you really liked it. Please like, subscribe, comment. Do not forget to subscribe, please. And I want like at least 20 likes on this video. I love you all. Peace. Take care. See you soon.